Star Wars TIE Fighter. With flashing lights and sound. There go the solar panels. And Darth Vader got away. TIE Fighter and action figures all sold separately. Hello and welcome to Flashback, Star Wars Obsessed. I'm Richard and on this episode I'm going to talk about the vintage TIE Fighter vehicle. Kenner's bright white TIE Fighter left off retail shelves. However, the original TIEs featured in Star Wars are not white at all. They're a muted gray, yet perhaps Kenner wished to utilize a body color that would provide a nicer contrast in body to the wing solar panels. Several different versions of the TIE Fighter's package can be found. The earliest version bears the LP logo, short for long play. 1978 also saw the release to major retailers of a special offer version, which featured a yellow sticker on the exterior of its box and two figures, Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper packed inside. In the following year, the TIE's package was modified in a fairly noticeable way. Specifically, the LP logo was removed and the title was expanded from simply TIE Fighter to Imperial TIE Fighter. In 1980, the item was issued in an entirely new box. It featured the same photo, but boasted the then new Empire Strikes Back logo. Then in 1983, Kenner freshened the TIE Fighter by molding it in blue rather than white plastic and packaging it with several battle damage stickers. The battle damage TIE Fighter was released only in a Return of the Jedi box. Here is my TIE Fighter vehicle that I got way back in 1979, Christmas Day. And I do remember that day. It was a very memorable Christmas. And the one thing that I remember was after opening the box, I didn't have enough stickers for the panels. I think I was missing one sticker sheet. So I was able to put, a, put stickers here, here, and here, but not here. Well, I just couldn't have that happening. And I wanted it to be uniform. So I basically just put the stickers here, and here and left it blank on the inside. But you know, the one thing that was really cool about Kenner was that they really did care. They had a, a form that you could fill out in case you were missing something, you just write down what you're missing, send it to them, and in a few weeks, you would get that item. It was pretty awesome. So, I did that. I wrote down that I'm missing stickers for the TIE Fighter and they sent me stickers. So that's what you see here. A complete TIE Fighter vehicle with all the stickers. I unfortunately put the battle damage stickers on later. You can see it's a little bit dirty. It's kind of discolored. You can see the, the different coloring. Canopy opens like this and then the seat raises. It raises. Or at least it's supposed to raise, it must be stuck. So, yeah. so I can't get it to, uh, there you go, it's moving up down. And the stickers on the inside to give, to show control panel. Also, it has the, the really cool feature of the tie panels flying off, just like that. Of course, at the time that this came out, Kenner did not release a TIE Fighter pilot. So we had to make do with what we had. So a lot of times we just used the Stormtrooper. This is the back side where you hold the vehicle and you fly it. And this is the button that you press to make the, the noise and the red light turn on. And in the bottom here is the battery compartment. I haven't tried this in a very long time. So I don't even know if this works. Well, wonderful viewers, we shall check it out. All right, now the batteries are in. Time to test the vehicle. And nothing, not even the light. Maybe eventually I'd have to do a restoration. Take this apart and see if I can get the engine moving. And maybe at the same time, clean this off a bit. This is an awesome vehicle to have in your Star Wars collection. I don't have just one, I have two. Around 1988, a friend decided to give up all of his Star Wars collection and I was gifted this. Oh, I don't even know if this works, but as you can see, my friend didn't take as good care 
of his TIE Fighter as I did mine. The stickers are all messed up. Look at that. What a mess. It's much more yellow than my original and very dirty. So my original compared to this one that my friend gave me. I was very anal retentive about my Star Wars collection. I took very good care of it. Others, not so much. Huh, I wonder if this one works. The battering compartment doesn't look too great. Uh, just tried it with the batteries. It doesn't work. Boo. I would have to assume that the engines are frozen on these two. This one is more of a mess. Maybe I can explore more with this. Take it apart. Do some real cleaning with this. All right, here they are. The Imperial TIE Fighter Vehicle from Kenner. They look amazing. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. See you on the next. Star Wars Obsessed. They look great. Well, maybe not this one.